Hey, Ryan, uh, riddle me this, buddy. Yeah? What's 280 plus 5? 280 plus, that's 285. Yeah, it is. Oh, is it yep. the 285th episode of the podcast? Yes, it is. Hey, yes, it ladies is. and gentlemen, it's 285. That's Super Megacast episode 285. We couldn't, we, we couldn't have done it without you. Mm-mm. We, without we a, couldn't have made it here without you guys. We were, it's a weekly podcast. Can you believe it? We Last week, there was one. The week I, before that, there was one. This week, there's still one. I don't know if you guys have uh, figured it out by now. Uh, but yeah, this is a weekly show. So uh, Every week. Oh, yeah? Is it? I mean, it is. What day? Uh, just sometime the next week. Yeah, we, okay. <laughs> like within the next week, there will be another episode. Yeah, we're not we're not very good at, get, at hitting the mark right on the day. We're gonna get better at that though, because soon it'll be Justin's job. We said so, this in like episode fifty, probably sh- too. Sh- stop. In one hundred and twenty. Well, something. remember it was Thursdays originally. Yeah. And then it was Fridays, and then it's oh, streaming services get it Wednesday. YouTube get its fri- gets it Friday, but now it's kind of like. Streaming services get it between Wednesday and Sunday. <laughs> Same with YouTube. Uh, so we, we we do apologize for that. I know it's annoying, but uh, we're, we're working on week. getting better. Every week, baby. Yeah, so was, I can't really hear you complain about that too much. It's every single week. And they can complain. It's the internet. So You're allowed to complain. That's what people do. You know, if if I if Isn't I right? if there was a podcast I really liked and they said it would come out every day this time, fuck me, I didn't put last week's on Patreon. <sighs> Okay, when, when this is done, canceled. don't cancel me for that, please. Oh. I'm going to go to our Patreon. I'm don't do that, Matt stop! Right now, he didn't put out the podcast. Patreon update, Matt is canceled. <laughs> what? Yeah, he didn't put out the, the, the podcast. Fucking Jesus. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's February's been rough. Uh, well, you went to go do a show in New York. I did. Uh, had your New York uh, adventures. You were an uptown girl. Living in an uptown world. I don't know with any of the lyrics except for Uptown Girl and Uptown World. But yeah, I went to New York City last week to do a little show with Ben Beal and Hi, I am Chris. Uh very fun at SOBs. I just imagine you getting off the plane. No, no, no. <laughs> Here I am, the Big Apple. I bet that Uptown girl might uh, get along with that old piano man. You know what I'm saying? Piano man, on us burning song. up in here nope. with the piano. Nah, different song. <laughs> piano man. <laughs> Yo, when I was actually when I was flying back in the Burbank Airport, I saw a big old billboard that Billy Joel is doing a world tour. He can tour these nuts. Yes, with his he tongue. can, dude. Brother, put it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get a fucking gonna get served. <laughs> a lawsuit in the mail. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't imagine being served. Nah, dude. Hey, you just got served. Definition. No, I mean, I mean, on the basketball court. No, absolutely not, dude. Only time I could imagine being served would be like American History X type situation. What? Not, not on, not on Edward Norton's side. No. Well, I, I wouldn't even. Never mind. Just forget about that. Man, you love that movie. I know I don't. I I don't love that movie. I I love the movie for for the points it brings, the the poignant thoughts on racism in in a in a post segregated world. See, it's a good movie. It is. That curb scene. Yikes. Where his teeth are going on the pavement. (laughs) I'm gonna edit it now. So when when it shows his teeth on the pavement, it's like It's not an act. It didn't actually happen, so we can <laughs> we can make fun of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, like the the undertone of what it is portraying is pretty rough. But he goes to jail for it. But it's an actor on a set. That's a true. bunch of corrupt money men going. Yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, for real. I don't care. Dude, that kid, the kid that played his brother, uh, Denny. Uh, Not to say that that, that that is a very serious crime that they are depicting. It's a very serious scene, too. You know, yes. it's, it's a hate crime that's being depicted on camera. Yes. But it's it's not real. It's it's actors. But I don't care about making fun of the actors themselves. You know what video we have had the idea for for over six years now and haven't done? That video where it's like, it's like how to, basically how to make videos. And it's like, because <laughs> it, we talked about it with Daniel Syndigo. And we were talking about like that one segment where it's like, how to make your video better and it's like 
farts. Like, you know, everyone loves a good fart. Here's some classic examples from cinema. And it was like, <laughs> we were going to put fart scenes in like very fucked up scenes. Well, there was Forrest Gump when he <laughs> when he touches her tit and he like comes. It's like, <laughs> yep. oh. and then the one where it's like, I remember the one we, we edited it was the United 93 scene where they're, <laughs> where they're trying to like fight the controls back from the terrorists <laughs> yeah. and the plane's going down right before the movie ends with them all dying. And it's like, ah, pfft, ah. <laughs> we should still make that. Yeah, but now people are just going to do it and put it on the Reddit. Don't do well. It's it was our idea. They can do it, but it was our idea. Yeah, but you just told them their idea. We or told this idea, idea before for sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, so on the episode with Idubs and Anissa, you know, I told that story about uh my dad clearing the history, and then I took the fall, and I I brought up. I said, you know, I've probably told this story three times, and you were like, you have. I saw some of the comments say, you know what, like when you retell stories, it's fine because I forgot to. And I'm like, okay. I well, I mean, it that way. We, we retell things all the time. I don't think it matters how how often we I don't, retell. I it. mean, there's probably some kid out there with encyclopedic. And, and, I only encyclop- sometimes reference it because I don't know if you know. I already know. Right, right. But you know, there's some kid out there with like an encyclopedia brown fucking you know knowledge of everything we've talked about. But you know what? Most people that listen to this podcast are dumbasses. They don't. They don't. I, we're I'd dumbasses. say definitely most of them. So, so if I retell a story, they probably don't remember. Especially if it was like. 60, 70, years ago? Yeah, exactly. 150 years ago? We've been doing this podcast a long damn time. I know. Damn, boy. When's the last time you got on Twitch, huh? Uh, b- before with I went Trevor. to New York. Mm-mm, no. I, I streamed the Epic S&P and I, I did After it. you did the one with you uh-huh. and Trevor? Yeah. I streamed what? right before I went to New York. I did a YouTube stream where I just went around YouTube and oh. watched some, I watched some good uh, Rap God covers. I watched some, some, some really good... Uh, Found some, actually, I found some really good shit in that stream. I found this this like TikTok guy who had like three subs who is like super anti God and anti Jesus, and he's, he's an atheist. A, he's a Satanist. Oh, but he he looks really weird, and he has this voice, and he'll be like, "Your God can lick my balls. <laughs> you think your God cares?" Is it like Cartman? <laughs> yeah, no, dude, he's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it, that, you probably watched the VOD. Um, and then I watched a bunch of children do rap God covers. Okay, uh, good. Ra- ac- there was actually this one kid I found. That I was like, this is gonna be funny, and he fucking killed like it, rap dude. God, he rap fucking God. he did the fast part of rap God. Can you do the fast part of rap God? Like, I don't know. I, I should upload my cover of. of if rap you had the God. lyrics in front of you, it might it, it would probably help. I should upload my cover of rap God fastest part. Wipe, you uploaded wipe. a cover recently. Oh, so sorry. Rap, uh, Eminem rap God fastest part. white boy go white white boy snaps on rap God fast. That's the cover I just recently <laughs> uploaded. Oh. But, uh, okay, cool. The fucking, yeah, dude, that kid, there was one kid that bodied it, just didn't even miss a fucking syllable. It's like little, like, 11 year old, like, Asian kid just boom, went crazy on it, man. That means he practiced. Yeah, he you practiced. Some of those kids didn't, and it showed, but he did. He did. YouTube streams are very fun. I'm going to do more. Rap God Challenge. Mm hmm. Hey, can you guys do the Rap God Challenge? Anyone out there? Uh, Post it on the uh, subreddit. I'm not checking that shit. That's gonna be, that's gonna hurt the. It's watch. like when you see someone like put up a super mega clip in like a class project or oh. something, and you're like, oh. Hey man, shout out to shout out to y'all. Hey, you're having y'all the bravery brave. to do that. You'll have the biggest balls. Yeah, uh, you got the confidence. I'll give you that. I'm sure the the class and the teacher loved it too. It, it's a saying, but I'm not commenting on your balls at all. Especially if you're a high schooler. Exactly. I'm saying specifically that it, the saying, like, you have, uh, you, you have courage. Right, right. We're not specifically commenting on the size of a high schooler's testicles. No. Um, Big but, balls is a saying which just reverts. It has, it doesn't mean that the person has. A literally big ball. Right, right. It's, it's just like the balls on that. It's man. because it's because testicles are associated with 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 masculinity and, and yeah. with with machismo. So when you, if you have big balls, it means that you're very very brave and and masculine. Yeah. You oh, know? the balls on her to try that stunt. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it says like, wow, big balls. Like a lot of testosterone, a lot of a lot of winning, a lot of exactly, a, a, exactly. And uh, you know, actually, do you remember that ACDC song? Winning big balls? No, Wait, remember that what? song? No, dude, I just I just remembered this when I was like twelve. I thought it was the funniest shit in the world. Big like, balls. I've got big balls. He's got big balls. <laughs> but she's got the biggest balls of them all. And they're they're AC, they're DC. singing about like parties, big like balls, balls, as in parties. But I just yeah, dude. I, I just remember this start song. like that. Yeah, this is it. I learned this on guitar in like eighth grade because I thought it was funny. <laughs> big balls. 
I mean, I'm editing this one, so I guess we'll just cut around this. Well, as long as you're not directly playing the mic, it's fine. Yeah. Give it a little listen. Dude, this was a big meme song back in the day. Was it? Yeah. At least to me. To me. Online back in the, like, dinner era. I want to hear him say balls. Sounds like Austin Powers. Here it comes. Big balls. Yeah. Damn. Wait, keep going. No, keep going. Oh, sorry. Balls. He's got big balls. We've got the biggest balls of them all. Yeah, dude. Okay. It's a real song. That's awesome. I used to love that fucking song. Big when balls. I, when I'd make YouTube poops. DC. Uh, YouTube poops, which are not on YouTube anymore. I would I would cut just when he would go balls. YouTube poops got to be on YouTube. Not some of my old oh, ones. No, no, no. Uh, but but I, I'd put a. I'd, I'd use. I'd, I would just cut out when he goes balls and use that. So like, you know, like SpongeBob would look over at Patrick and Patrick would be like balls and you know, it's like, bit classic. <laughs> of, shit, co dude. of course, good. I good. made a YouTube poop on my old Format Twenty Four channel that's so bad and not funny, but it got like a, a hundred thousand views. My my favorite. I guess they could be seen as you. I guess they're not YouTube poops, but my favorite kind of edits right now are uh, they're they're uh. Bully McGuire edits is what they're. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, he's one of those. He's, it's him versing a bunch of people. You know, it could be Thanos. They could put him in a scene of Titanic. Even dig on this. They'll be snapping as the boat's sinking or something. <laughs> I don't know if that one's actually been made. I just I I would actually like to see that. Him people are falling little, and like him doing the Bully McGuire dance as it's going down. Him kicking a hole in the ship and then what, dancing uh, as it goes down. Have you ever seen the picture of a? Of the iceberg that sank the Titanic? There's one picture of it. Or they think it is. Oh, which is interesting. Go on, because I did something recently, and I can't remember if you've Did ever you sink a fucking ship? No. But I sat through an entire... They have those simulations where they show you, like, the time that of That got things. recommended to me, that video. I, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. And I was, like, I was sitting there, and, like, the whole time I was like, Jesus Christ. And because, like, they'll do, like, calls and stuff, like, down in the engine room. Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah. I was like, damn. It was like two hours was something. Was it VR? No. I mean, you see like where the ship is, mm. the time of night, and then it, it's near the end, it just kind of like, just gets like silent. Dude, you do an, and you, like, you take oh. an edible and you watch one of those and it's like, it's too real. I did, I did that for, I put on my VR headset and I watched this 3D one that was- 9-11? No, not, I, did, I didn't watch a 9-11. That is, a, there is a 9-11 VR game. No, uh, did you do the experience where, you, you, where you're Hillary Clinton and you're, in, and you're being sniped? No. Is that a real video? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> no, River, it's the lie she said, or she's like, "We were dodging sniper fire." That wasn't Hillary Clinton. That was a uh, uh, Brian uh, Williams, the yeah. NBC reporter, right? And Hold he up. said he was he was in like a, like his helicopter. Like, wait, was it her? There's multiple people that have lied about being under like sniper fire, and then it comes out, and they're like, "I misremembered." Recalling Hillary, Hillary Clinton's claim of landing under sniper fire in Bosnia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. I, I forgot. Brian Williams said the same thing. He was like, "We were dude, bullets going over our head," and then like, there's like a video. There's a, there's a video of her just getting off the plane, like, "Hey, hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, love it." Fucking but I did idiots. one with VR headset that was like a simulation of like what it would be like during an atomic bomb test, and I took an edible and I put on my headset, and I was like. <laughs> Whoa! And then it's like I was in like a like Southern Pacific island, beautiful, and then and insane. But then I did, uh, I w I watched another one recently, which was like a hour long video, and it was like the last hour before the dinosaurs got nuked, and Ooh. it was like looking up in the sky and like watching it like get closer. Could could you see like dinosaurs walking around? No, it was just from different perspectives. It would be like it was like as if you put the camera. On the beach in Florida, just like showing the ocean and the sky, and you could just like hear the birds no and shit. No dinosaurs for immersion. No, and it would switch between like France, Florida, not like a ooh, like a maybe distance. actually, maybe I just don't remember that a tyrannosaur. Well, it depends. It also depends on the cameras were in Florida and France and one other place. I don't know if tyrannosaurs were in those areas. You know yeah, where it actually uh, you, you know where that comet hit, right? Nope. Gulf of Mexico. Ooh. So we would have, you know, in South Carolina, we've been fucked. Man, Mexico's got a lot of shit going down. Aliens too, by the way. A lot of aliens. <laughs> no, like, like saucer what shit. What do you mean by that? <laughs> no, no, no. Immigrants. <laughs>
There's a lot of uh, UFO Dude, sightings Dude, I, I in follow Mexico. fucking UFO shit like crazy, and I have not seen this. Are you kidding me? Is this another Tom Cruise robbery <laughs> no! fucking thing? No, no. You, you didn't hear about Tom Cruise serious? committing it's robbery? It's because of it's. There's so much desert, and there's so much going on. Where like they'll have you've heard like or they have their urban legends like the Chupacabra and stuff. There's the Mexican alien. I damn it. The Mexican alien. <laughs> I was. I, I was. <laughs> I was going off, but go off, King. You were too, you were too, uh, quick. Actually, when you said the Mexican alien thing, I didn't even get that at first. It was you who caught it, but then it made me laugh. But, but are you being serious? Are they actually, hmm? are, are you lying to me? Yeah. Damn it, dude. I told you. I, I was, I was going to go on over the urban legends of the Mexican aliens and how they come down and like, how they come across sheep. that wall. Tell you what, <laughs> steal your uncle's job. I'm talking about gray aliens. Ryan. <laughs> Come on, come on, Caucasian. <laughs> I mean, you get those Irish immigrants, Latina, <laughs> Latina, Latina. Forest. These Latinas, Forest. 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 Thick booty Latina over there at the bar eyeing me. <laughs> the ten Dan, not she might just uh, be Caucasian. This thick legged queen. <laughs> Yes, Queen. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you're you're serving. You're slaying, Lieutenant Dan. Slay Forest. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yes, Queen. <laughs> why why did it turn into Steve O? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Good for Steve O, you know. Honestly, dude, he's like the poster child for sobriety. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Like he 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 was in like one of like the worst holes of addiction you could be in. I and mean, then he fucking it's good that he never he got went, into like heroin. Nope. And yeah. then he stopped. I know. You, I mean, have you, Not on my watch. You've heard the whole like story, like the his story of uh when when he uh like the intervention where he was like he he lived in this like penthouse, I think, in like a hotel or Is something. That where, that's where the photo's from. I don't know if that photo's from him, but he was about to like jump out the window and kill himself and like Johnny Knoxville and like everyone like showed up um and like grabbed him and uh he like destroyed his whole like apartment and they told him like, you have to go to rehab right now. And I think that was it. I saw, I saw Johnny Knoxville like tell the story and Steve O tell the story too. It was some pretty intense. Like he was about to like kill himself and they all to like zoom there. And well, I'll be, I'll his be neighbors looking. hated him apparently up I'll, on that penthouse. So I don't, I wonder well, why I would imagine, <laughs> but uh, next I'll be to looking, Steve I'll be looking at Hallmark to see if they ever, the jackass story, the Steve O story, the Steve O, Steve O. I was well. I'm wondering now Steve. with all the Bam Margera court stuff going on, and I've been watching this channel that does updates on like Bam Margera huge court case win. Steve-O admits Bam is right. It's like I watch a little bit of this channel that does like videos like that all the time, and it's uh. Makes, so so what are they what are they trying to say? Honestly, I didn't feel like watching the whole fucking ten minute videos that come out each three days because it, it'll be like a ten minute video. It'll be like yeah, so this court document filed uh, says that they're proceeding with the motion, and then it's like what this could mean is then they just go off yeah, on a bunch like, of bullshit. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I wonder, honestly, a movie like a like a Scorsese style movie down the road about Jackass and like then like this whole fallout with like the drug addictions and Bam and everything would be pretty good. Honestly, it would work well as a drama. It would. It would like a Jackass. Maybe we'll have to make that. I watched. Uh, speaking of Jackass, I watched a while back. I watched this uh, documentary on YouTube. You know Brandon Novak. Yeah, he's one of their friends. He's a skateboarder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a horrible. He was big with he was big with Bam, and Bam housed him. But they were kind of like they fed into each other's addictions mm -hmm. for a bit. He had a really bad heroin addiction. Yeah, and I watched like a documentary, uh, kind of like documenting some of that process. Uh, like Ryan Dunn was like, like, like it was like footage where he, like throws him up against the wall in a garage because he catches him like high on heroin. Really? Yeah, and he's like trying to get him to get off it and shit. He's he's sober now. Actually, I saw him on Steve O's podcast recently, and he's like super clean cut. Yeah, Dude. they were they were talking about Bam. Yeah, and all the comments were like, like I never thought that like Brandon Novak would be like the clean cut one of this group. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's so good for all of them for B J Novak, not B J Novak. <sighs> well, actually, in B J Novak, does the B stand for Brandon? And Brandon Novak, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chris Chan. This week, guess what? This week is I still haven't caught up. This week is Chris Chan's birthday. Forty-one, I think. Still in jail. Still in jail. Until no, no. July. What? Is July the... July is the next fucking continuance date. Oh my God. Right? From February to July. It's the, it's the attorney that's requesting it, which means that it's like, the attorney clearly is doing that for a reason. This is truly just going to be a giant lull. Chris Chan's going to get time served. That's what's... Like, the, like, 
they're going to finally do some trial or something. And then they're going to be like, all right, time served. And then Chris will, I don't know what happens then. Not going back to 14 Branchland Court. Certainly. Hmm. I just like. <sighs> the homeless saga. Do you think that's inevitable? Yeah. Because I mean, like what you think Virginia, like really cares that much about rehabilitation for like mentally ill. No. Adults that end up in the penal system. I don't think most people do. No. So like, well, that's the thing, dude. Like once, once, once Chris Chan is like done with the whole <laughs> penal system. <laughs> Why do they call it that, dude? It just makes me laugh when you talk about something so serious and it's like we're the going penal to system. erect this monument. Come on, Come we're gonna, on. we're gonna, hey, we're about to go erect this monument uh, for the penal system. Go, like, you know, it's like, <laughs> come on. <dude. laughs> but you know, Chris Chan's gonna get out, and then they're gonna be like, all right, you're off the hook, and then Chris Chan's not gonna have anywhere to go. Family says no, no. Of course, like that's not good. Yeah, so it's like you committed a very serious. I wonder if crime it'll end up like. I wonder if it'll end up like the Temple OS guy. Christine Weston Chandler. Have you, uh, you haven't watched that down the rabbit hole about Temple OS. I feel like you showed it to me and we watched it at some point. Maybe we watched a bit of it. The schizophrenic programmer. Yeah. That made like that's the, the one that you, sh that's the first one you showed me. So you saw how it ended? I can't remember much. I don't think we watched I, the whole I, thing. I remember I was pretty hot. I think maybe I had to leave or something. I always get, look, if we're watching YouTube, I'm, I'm definitely toasted. I gotta stop with the heroin. Um, basically, spoiler alert, it ends with, you know, he ends up homeless and like starts vlogging himself homeless and like living in a van, but like over like a couple months, like he can barely even speak because his schizophrenia is so bad. He, like slurs, slurs, like he can't even speak. And then he gets hit by a train and dies. Jesus. Uh, probably on purpose, but maybe i don't know that like when you have when you have someone that it's like that mentally ill and you just like throw them into the streets i mean what what happens fucking there's only so many paths that can take so that's sad it's very sad christine i christine should should get should get the help she she requires but it probably won't happen no cuz it's virginia and it's also well, i mean who cares? help needed to have been given 3 decades ago yeah a long time ago, but the parents are to blame for that one. Yeah, bad, bad parents. Don't Not to about, say don't that, talk about Bob that way. Man. <laughs> Bob sucks. Do you realize Bob and Barb both suck? Do you realize and that's not to excuse, of course, anything that happened. You if know, the health department of Greene County sees those videos, Ryan, they're both racists. Yeah, they're both awful. Yeah, they're, they're not not very good parents. You know, I don't like to comment on someone else's parenting. But I'll step out on a limb and, in this case, say they're pretty bad parents. You know, if you're not a parent, you don't have any right judging how I judge. Yeah, yeah, what are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, your kid's about? fucking kicking the back of my plane seat and screaming the whole flight. <laughs> Put, shut the kid up. You're Dude, obviously doing something wrong. My fucking flight back from New York to LA, of course, behind me is a child. Mm -hmm. and Taking your seat? Yep, the entire flight, do, do, do. And the mom is not doing anything. And the kid is screaming, the whole flight screaming. And she's letting him get in the aisle and run up and down the aisle and throw his toys all over the floor and shit. And the dude sitting next to me just keeps turning around, just staring at her with this look that's like, are you serious? And I started turning around because I was like, and like, they, they would not control, like people that won't control their kids. Did you say something? No, I turned around, I just looked straight at him once when he was kicking my chair. I was like, next time you should just throw something back, a little snide. Great parenting. And then... That she would get so pissed. Yeah, I, I see. I didn't want to because parents. They also like, weren't speaking English. Well, oh, so well. it's like I. Now then, you're a racist, Matt. Exactly. Well, we already know that, but I <laughs> I, I didn't want like a textbook example of exactly. it. Exactly. You don't want because you know phones come out when when drama happens mm -hmm. on an airplane. And I was just trying to enjoy my fucking flight, and the kids just do 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 like kicking the chair, but screaming. Fucking. There's one point where I guess she was tickling him, and he was laughing for like 30 minutes straight. Just. Ah! For like 30 minutes straight and I'm fucking like dude I was everyone around us was like looking around like Matt you're just living in their world get used to it I was dude for seven hours <laughs> like I always get seated next to kids on these pl planes that can't shut up and it's you're it, an adult you could scare the kid have you ever seen that one video of that guy that does that <clears throat> he's like filming himself and like this kid's screaming and comes by and he goes ah! like in the kid's face <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay. It's pretty awesome. I I I think that's that not gonna make the kid stop crying, but it's it's no. definitely it's, it feels good. <laughs> you know, the kid doesn't know better. Why are you tormenting the kid? Because he's acted like a little shit.
on in, in those situations, it's the parents' responsibility. Like if you just go, hey, like to a kid, like you might feel ridiculous, but to a kid, that's like, oh yeah. I mean, Jesus. if an adult did that to me now, I'd I'd be like petrified. Yeah, you know, it's the, like parents parents that that can't. I was in Target recently, same thing. This kid is running around throwing shit off the shelves, like screaming, and the mom is just like on her phone, like not caring, and everyone's looking, and it's like, why, like control your fucking kid. If, you ha- if you're going to have a kid, f- don't, like, if your kid is like that and you're not going to do anything, don't take him out in public. Well, it's just like, you know what eventually that type of behavior and that style of parenting can lead to just that Yeah, becoming, the kid's going to be awful when he grows up. Yeah, like an awful, just an awful adult. Yeah. Like yeah. a self-important little brat our parents beat us and i mean that's that's why we turned out to be the upstanding men we are today yeah it's it's called mm, what is it some punishment not Correct. corporal corrective. corrective corrective disciplinary action yeah the right thing to do exactly now, i'd beat my kids even if they didn't act up let's go to ad breaks and uh, we'll be right back this episode of the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by Masterclass. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You know, I'm having a big burst of nostalgia, and I'm wanting to get back into skateboarding. Luckily, the Tony Hawk teaches skateboarding on Masterclass, so I'm doing ollies, kickflips, or at least I, I'm hopefully soon I'll be doing some ollies, kickflips, some some backwards flips, and grinds. You know, some flipper spins. Exactly. Exactly. It's so easy to access the material from my laptop, phone or TV. And with the new audio mode, I can even listen from my car and learn how to skateboard from there. Thank you, Tony Hawk. And for y'all listening, I highly recommend you choose Masterclass. Go check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a Super Mega Cast listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash super now. That's masterclass.com slash super for 15% off Masterclass. You know, while I got Tony Hawk as a teacher, there's a bunch of other people. You got um, Simone Biles, Stephen Curry... Not to mention Hans Zimmer and Timbaland. <gasps> That's what I've been taking, and I'm learning how to produce just like them. Well, he does teach producing and beat making. I know. That's I've been taking that class, and I'm learning to produce just like Timbaland. So anyways, y'all check it out. Hey, guys. You look at me and you say, man, that guy looks malnourished and poor rested. Well, the truth is, I am. I used to suffer from such poor quality sleep, and I've been looking for solutions for years. I'm diagnosed with insomnia and narcolepsy. That ain't no fun, but luckily, I found Blue Blocks. I am so happy I found the Remedy Sleep Mask from Blue Blocks. As I can now sleep in 100% darkness and comfort, this mask is a game changer. I tried other brands of sleep masks, eh, but Blue Blocks is the first one that went it's 100% blackout, like sleeping in pitch black darkness. Because, you know, I can't really sleep unless it's pitch black, and that's hard to achieve unless you got the Blue Blocks uh, mask, you know? It's super soft on my face. There's an adjustable strap rather than elastic, which means I can get the perfect fit. Works for all sleeping styles, back, belly, and side sleepers. Adjustable eye cups so I can position them for the perfect fit. And I can even fully open my eyes when wearing the mask. So it's not pushing on my eyes or anything, or if you got long eyelashes, it's, it's wonderful. And it's super breathable, so you're not going to wake up with a sweaty face. Blue Block sent me the Remedy Sleep Mask, and I've been sleeping with it for about a week. And let me tell you something, I wake up feeling so rested, so so rejuvenated. It's putting a whole new meaning to beauty sleep. I'm really looking beautiful lately, if you haven't noticed. And, and it's all because of the Remedy Sleep Mask. Blue Blocks ship worldwide in rapid time. The Remedy Sleep Mask is designed in Australia, and Blue Blocks also has other amazing products, such as low blue light bulbs, red light therapy devices, and blue light glasses, all backed by science. Go to blueblocks.com slash supermega and use coupon code supermega to save 15%. That's blueblocks.com, B-L-U-B-L-O-X.com slash supermega and use coupon code supermega to save 15%. (sighs) That's a sign of me sleeping with, with this Remedy Mask. So I'm sucking her dick, and I got my finger right on her ball. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back uh, from those ad reads. Yeah, uh, we got a little, we got a little update for you. Uh, starts with a W. Winning, <laughs> dude. The second, hey, there, the second man. time. In. Come on, that's good. That's good. Come on, honestly, <laughs> can't on. beat that one. Uh, we got, oh. a, we got, <laughs> we got a little update. Uh, Wanda. Yeah. As, as some of you, if you've been, if you've been, or sticking Wanda around, three or two or three. 
It's Honestly, not, it's this, not Wanda Wanda. This is probably three or four. This is the thickest Wanda yet. Yeah, this one's fucking fat, dude. Uh, Wanda is, if you guys remember, every year this dove comes and nests at the Super Megaplex in our little like outdoor patio area. And uh, there's a bird's nest there that's been there since we moved in. And she comes every single year and, and has babies there. Uh, last year, like three different batches of babies. Yep. And now uh, she has returned early this year. Usually it's like March or April. One of the babies has returned. Yeah, this time it's it's definitely a different one. But one of the babies she has. Big. She's bad. But she's thick, man. She she's, probably got fucked. She's she's probably full of eggs, man. She's fucking. She looks like, like a fucking. We got to be careful as soon as those eggs are around. Because you remember one of the birds was out and I almost stepped on one. What if we put a little net underneath, just in case? Oh, there's that. We could put a little net, and on the doors, we should. We I was talking to Leighton about this. We should um, put Ooh. those. Uh, <laughs> Gaten. Mm. We we should we should put the signs that they have at beaches where where they talk about like the sea turtle eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like, gotta be careful when you go out there because you could Wanda just be walking eggs. and not even see a fucking. I almost so close. Your foot was right if, up. If that happened. I would have had to go home. I mean, you you would still like nowadays. You'd still be like have nights laying in bed where you'd start thinking about it. Because I would that. have felt it Ugh. and no exact. I would have. Ugh. Woo. And Man. We, would, we we wouldn't have even gotten it on camera too, which is the I worst know. part. Not even content. But yeah, maybe. she's back. Or when I say she's back, I mean one of the descendants is back. So now, uh, I guess we'll keep you updated from here on out until until she flies away north again. You'll know if there are eggs. There, there's definitely some eggs up, or if she's infertile. Next time I see, next time I see her gone, I'm gonna check if there's eggs. Okay. She looks, she looks fucking fat. So she's nested up right now. She, she seems pretty secure where there, she's at. There's probably some eggs on the way. I love when those those little doves get born because they look so fucking stupid when they're that small. They just like they they look like, like <gasps> they they like they they they're not cute. They're very like spiky. <laughs> Like they they haven't developed their feathers yet, so it's just kind of like their the, eyes are all big and squinty. And they look like fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and you get to see them like you come out there and they all stare at you. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Ridiculous. They don't know what to do. No, they don't. They, they don't. start getting a little brave when they start getting their like feathers and wings, and some of them don't really fly. They glide out of the nest, and that's that's when you know. Mm -hmm. That's why we're wanting to put nets and stuff. And hopefully, when she even hopefully she'll be back two days later with a brand new batch. She's going out and getting fucked. I wonder if this is one of the babies from last year. It's got to be because they reuse nests every throughout year, generations. Every year, it, she's like, "This is the house I grew up in, and now I'm, I'm moving back into it to to have my own kids." It's the thing where every year I kind of feel like, "Oh, you know, what if this is the year? This is the year Wanda doesn't show back up." But every year, without fail, she comes back. When we first toured the Super Megaplex, the, or, the you know her family, her, the Wandas the come back. The uh, Wanda Talk about Wanda Vision. Hey, yeah, that's right. Wanda One's probably been long gone, but I tell you what, uh, when we when we toured the place for the first time, the realtor was like, "Yeah, uh, there's our there's the a, a, that dub is always there." I kind of want to text the landlord. I thought like, Wanda was not as brown. I thought Wanda was more grayish looking. This one's pretty gray, right? This one's pretty brown. I actually could compare pictures. This one definitely has more of an auburn looking coating going on. Um, let me, uh, I, I, I just took a picture. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. And also the markings on the, on and the Wanda neck. was gray. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's been, you know, it's been a while. Taking after her dad, I guess. Hey, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm looking at this, uh, this picture of her. Good thing we got that shit unplugged. Yes. Because last year there was like, <laughs> there was like a, like there's a, a live wire. There was like a, like a, like a prong that you plug into a, a thing and it was like halfway in it. So if you would just touched it, you would get shocked. So she's fucking fat, dude. I'm looking at her right now. She's massive. <laughs> yeah, she is. I wonder how, how long the, you know, I'm gonna text the landlord right now and say, how long is, uh, how, do you, do you know how many years this dove has been nesting here? Maybe he'll be like, Oh, since I was a kid and be like, wow, this is a lineage. Yeah. Oh, that would be perfect to like know how far back it goes. How far back does the Wanda clan go, chat? Chat. That dog. Uh, that was just a reflex off of Twitch. Chat? Yeah. <laughs> I I was bad and I didn't stream for like a I, week. I, I mean, I have, I've been really bad. I streamed. And I like just, I just smoked weed and streamed like last night for like <sighs> three hours. I'm going to try to stream later tonight after my boxing lesson. It's a... Uh... I, I gotta get, get on anything or are you just gonna do like a chill? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe get on Epic SP. It's been a minute. I did 
Uh, I, I have Cock Island, which is a uh, see. I was tired I of getting it was Rock Island. It's Cock Island. What? Uh, I swear to God, when I was watching your stream, it was. It, well, I it, I started you said out as Rock Island because there were a bunch of cobblestone. It was Rock Island. I'm maybe I'm. I'm was I, I swear to God, I'm not misremembering. Maybe it was Rock Island. Now I just, for some reason in my head like Cock Island. Well, it's Cock Island now. Okay. Uh, I think someone in chat called it Cock Island. So I. Okay. It's Rock Island. It was Rock Island. Now Co I'll ask Rock Island. Now Cock Island. Yeah, but basically it's a uh, just away from all the all the pitter patter of the goings on of the city. Uh, away away from the the Leighton following me, getting <laughs> right up in my face. Hey, hey, Matt. Late, Leighton and Marisa tag teaming behind me while I'm <laughs> while I'm trying to trying to knock down a tree. Marisa talking to her chat, and Leighton going. So I had this idea. You know? <laughs> so just kidding. I love you, Leighton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, sure. Uh, but you know, I was kind of getting tired of the mainland. I was tired of you know getting griefed. I was tired of fucking you know. Who just, would do such a thing? To I my don't know. Boy. Assholes. And uh, I found I found a new I found a, a big old big old spot that's like far far away enough where it's hard for people to find, but also I know exactly how to get back if I need to. Okay, it's super easy to get back. Uh, and I, I even set up a little, a little like marker. You, there was a visual indicator you set up when I, I was did. watching. So I know exactly. I don't what want to, to spoil do. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of resources. Got a lot of caves. I started going out into a cave, but I was like, I'm not prepared for this. I might need someone to come with me. Come, come caving with me. Maybe I could come help at some point. They made have a little Matt and Ryan adventure. On Cock Island. Until Trevor teleports to us. No, then hey. I'll fucking kill him. Uh, uh, ooh, ah, what's going on, guys? Hey, guys. <laughs> I remember that one time I uh, accidentally de whitelisted and it, it instantly kicked him out of the game. <laughs> no, no, no. I, like, I demodded him or something and he just disappeared. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Is he going to be able to get back in? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just drinking this Dr. Pepper. Ooh, mm, tasty. Classic Trevor, man. Always drinking that Dr. Pepper. Fucking every time he fucking comes over my place, he's just drinking that Dr. Pepper. <laughs> he so, so tired of it. I'm just man sick loves of it. His Dr. Point. Pepper. I'm sick of it, man. It's obviously just kind of annoying. You don't like Dr. Pep? No, I love Dr. Pep, but just Trevor just. Hey, I'm going to lay something on you. I don't like root beer that much. Really? Yeah. For real? Like cream soda, all that? No, I don't, I don't really vibe with it. All right. I like your classic colas, you know? Cream, cream, cream soda is nostalgic for me more than anything. Root beer. I do love a good root beer. It's it root beer seems like it's sweeter than it used to be though. I could go for a nice ginger ale. Mmm. <laughs> I had some ginger ale this morning. Sprite is just pepped up ginger ale. Ginger ale, uh, I actually had a ginger ale. <laughs> this is gross. I had a ginger ale in my car over the weekend. And uh I got him in the car to drive to the office this morning. The cap was off, but it was in the cup holder, and I was like, <laughs> You just took a little sip. That's a little sip. <laughs> I was, then, I was like, know, one sip won't hurt. You know the way I always it rationalize it in my head? Whenever like I see an older bottle of water, I'm like, I'm just gonna take a sip, I'm thirsty. Or like an old like basically it's usually water. It's I, I'm like, if it was the post apocalypse and I had to survive, be fine. I'd drink it and it would be fine. You're not gonna get like dysentery from a fucking <laughs> sip of water if that's been in your car. Yeah, but isn't it like the sun? It's the BPAs the or whatever and... with the fucking the plastics and the sun. But my car was was parked in a garage. So granted, the windows were down. So bugs. My OK, I didn't even think about that. Well, I've, I've drank some pretty old water out of my car before. Like I, I'd be willing to say at least three week old. And I'm like, I'm thirsty. You've drinking some pretty old water out of my cock. Too. <laughs> Come on, man. That's piss. It's not it's not water. It's at water. That point. Yeah. To a degree, it's water, it's urea. Is, is, when does it stop? Be, when does it start becoming piss? The second it enters your stomach and starts mixing with everything else, that's what piss. Okay. Well, piss. So piss actually. When yeah. when we were driving home from our our excursion recently, and I was driving Tucker from Long Beach, we actually had a very long conversation about what is piss. We were like, "What is piss?" So we looked it up, and he read out to me like a very long. Listen here, I'll let me enlighten you on what piss is. Piss is not exactly what I thought it was. Um, where's my phone, dude? I was a brother supposed to look up piss. There it is. Yeah, okay. Piss is a. Uh, I want. I want to. I want to hear this. So I want to. So what makes info. what makes piss piss is probably searching what is urine will be better than what is piss. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hold on. What is urine? What I remember is there's there's things called urea, stuff called urea, which is different different compounds and salts that your body creates as a byproduct. And that's what gives piss its yellow coloring. 
Uh, what exact? Here we go. Wikipedia. Urine. Look at there's a picture of someone's piss right there. Okay. Uh, liquid byproduct of metabolism in the bodies of many animals, including humans. Urine is a liquid byproduct of metabolism in human. Blah, blah, blah. Urine flows from the kidneys through the ureters to the urinary bladder. Urination results in urine being excreted from the body through the urethra. Now, what, what is urine? Cellular metabolism generates many byproducts that are rich in nitrogen and must be cleared from the bloodstream, such as urea, uric acid, and creatinine. Creatinine? Isn't that what I take for, to, for, to get big? No, it's creatine. Okay. A urinalysis can detect nitro, nitrogenous wastes of the mammalian body. All right, so it's... Um, urine plays an important role in the Earth's nitrogen cycle. In balanced ecosystems, urine fertilizes the soil and thus helps plants to grow. Therefore, urine can be used as a fertilizer. Some animals use it to mark their territories. Historically, aged fermented urine, known as lant, was also used for gunpowder production, household cleaning, tanning of leather, and dyeing of textiles. Okay. Wow. So that, right there, right there. That's the chemical structure of urea. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, did you see that? I don't know what that does for me. Well, I'm just trying to figure out just just what exactly you think I, I learned anything from that? Looking at that looking at the chemical construction. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what about ninety one and ninety per six of urine, ninety per ninety six percent of urine is water. The See? Here we go. It's mostly water. The remainder can be broadly characterized into <clears throat> inorganic salts, urea, organic compounds, and organic ammonium salts. Urine also contains proteins, hormones, and a wide range of metabolites varying by what is introduced into the body. Yeah, but here's the thing. If you piss in a river and scoop up the water, you're still drinking water. There's piss in that water. That's true. Honestly, But that's you'd true. still say I'm drinking water. Even though you knowingly know that fish and other things pee in that water, you know you're drinking some piss. That's true. I mean, who's who's who, <laughs> you wouldn't say I drank piss to survive. I drink I drink water. Who's arguing drink. like the actual ratios, right? Yeah. Like, oh wow, listen to this. The total solids in urine are on average fifty nine grams per person per day. Ooh, when, when's the kidney stone era of super? Fuck, mega? That, dude. You know that's coming. One of us. Well, actually, no. You know what? You know what? We're not having sugar. We're being anymore, healthier. You know? Not not alcohol. Not sugars as much. You know, it's it's no alcohol in New York. No, I had some in New York because I was doing a show. That's what I thought. But I mean, like back at home and stuff. <laughs> okay, dude, I, 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 I need a little to go on stage. No, I see. I know. I, I, get I it. need I get something it. to go on stage before you and I would do live shows with Super Mega. Like having like something like you and you and I would put you know a, a little something back before the show. Dude, I, I actually, the more people I talk to that perform, they're like, oh, of course, of course, you have to like have a drink before you go on stage, like. I don't, I don't know anyone except people that are like sober that, that don't do that before they go on stage. It, it just, it like helps the nerves fully. Like it, if I go on stage fully sober, I'm going to be all shaky. You got to be a little confident. Yeah. It gives you confidence. It eases the nerves. You know, it's God's medicine. Will super mega ever go on tour again? Maybe. Mm. We'll see. We got, we got, we got, we got other fish to fry first. Maybe those who, uh, supported us, you know, got to, got to experience, uh, a few times in a lifetime event. Like a like a baby being born. Yeah. Like a like a like a young babe being birthed by his mother. You know, that only happens once. So if you get to witness that, then several times. I mean, you can have multiple children. No, I'm talking about a specific baby. Why don't people have litters? I was about to I was literally about to ask that. <laughs> Were you? Why well why why is it that 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 women Elephants, fucking women. Why? 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 There are a lot of mammals that only have one at a time. You know what? It's, it seems like it's like bigger animals. Whales. Bigger animals seem to only have one, sometimes two, maybe twins. But and then you fucking frogs. Just yeah, dude. Or even spiders. Oh. <laughs> Hamsters. You know, like I gotta look that up. Why? Why? Dogs. Dogs have, you know. Well, cats. what I'm saying is, like, it seems like the smaller you get, well, even big cats, the, the smaller a, a creature is, it seems like the more babies it has, right? Because humans are like, once you're around that size, what else that size has litters besides, well, like a tiger, maybe? But so I'm saying, tigers have litters. Oh my! Wolves are huge, and they have they have pups. Why do humans not have litters? Bears? Do they generally like when they with cubs? Are they usually born like one at a time? I'm, I'm not. Mm, I'm not. I think it's like two or three. Two maybe. or three cubs. Here we go. Humans are ill-equipped to handle large litters. Evolution has simply not set us up to do that well. Typically, the litter size in nature is matched by the number of mammary glands we have. Oh, 
so I guess I guess evolutionarily, when people, our ancestors would have litters, it would it would be a little too hard to keep them going. Some people still have litters. Some people have five, people. eight. Oh my Fucking god! Fucking octo mom, dude. Octo mom, dude. Have you ever seen what she looked like? Like before she popped? <laughs> before she popped? No, dude. In this case, it really was a case of before she popped. Like it, it was it was actually disgusting. Like no no shame on the woman, but it it was it was really gross. Also, like, what it'd be cool if humans like laid eggs instead of just gave live birth. You, you do you, do you know why childbirth is painful? It's because uh, Adam and Eve decided to do their little sin in the garden, and then God said, "You know what? Because of that, human childbirth is going to be incredibly painful from here on out." The snake already had eggs. The snake had it good. I know, but uh, Adam and Eve, you know, they uh, they're the reasons it hurts. It used to feel amazing. W- women used to come while giving birth. Now. Fucking, it, it's well, incredibly painful. Adam and Adam and Eve both learned that no matter how close you are, you know, snakes are always about. Snakes are always, mm. always, you know, go slithering through the grass. There's always snakes around. Be careful, guys. There's always a fucking snake right around the corner. Yeah, be careful. Keep you keep keep your wits about. You know, sometimes people might be your dog. Turns out that dog was a snake. Just keep that in mind. Couldn't have said it better myself, mm-hmm. Watson. Isn't that what? Isn't that though that what? I I thought I've heard that before in Christianity that childbirth was not painful, and then God, as punishment for for Eve doing that, was like, yeah, now it's gonna hurt you, little bitch. Hmm. All I know is that hey, we are we have continuously uh, been. M- M- miseducated on the subject matters. How the fuck would like that only- not hurt? You're 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 literally taking like a like a hole that's like, like 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 putting a pencil in might even hurt. Well, I- you're talking about the same people who made up rules like uh, if a woman experiences an orgasm during a rape, then she wasn't raped, or if she felt any pleasure, you know, those were the rules set up by the church. Yeah. So, I mean, it's no surprise that they I, have these types of odd little. I wanted to make a joke going along with that, and I was like, ah, "Not that one. No, I'll just I'll just no. not that one. I'll I'll leave that one be." But yeah, it's fucked. It's really fucked. But we should, you know, what we should do. We should go do that simulation oh, thing. I saw this on Reddit recently. Doctors in the olden days, if there was a woman experiencing some sort of mania, they would finger them and produce orgasms because they thought orgasms could help with that. What? Yep. Really? Yeah, I saw it on Reddit. Damn, that's interesting. Damn, well, or something. <laughs> One of those. Now doctors have become pussies. They won't <laughs> even do that anymore. My doctor won't jerk me off when I'm feeling the sads. I'll sure give you a prostate orgasm if you ask him. It's le- good for the health. I legitimately, someone told me that growing I up. I did. For, no. For, I told you that even afterwards. And for years, I actually thought that like, if you could go, you could go to the doctor and ask for like, like have your prostate stimulated for like a health reason and they would do it. I think I got you with that in an early super mega episode too. Because I had been told that like growing <laughs> up. You can ask him. Can you stimulate my prostate, doctor? Sure, buddy. <gasps> oh. Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Mr. Bean. <laughs> yes. Dude, I watched Mr. Bean's Holiday recently. That movie fucking holds up. Ad break. <laughs> Today, I'm excited to announce Manscaped launched their ultra premium collection. Believe it or not, it's for your not so private parts. I'm talking about a leveled up hygiene routine with your favorite manly scents. This is an all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man and covers you from head to toe. Literally. Manscaped is trusted below the waist. Now trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA. They sent it to us, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, that, that little shower routine right there, that's my go-to. When I, when I go into the shower, I'm disgusting, I'm dirty. When I come out, I am beautiful, I smell like the, the delicious, wonderful scents of Manscaped, my lips are no longer chapped, my skin is soft, my hair smells good. Fellas, you gotta do it. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now on a bottle, thanks to Manscaped. Winter is supposed to be hibernation time, and I won't deny I'm staying in more than usual, but that doesn't mean I'm not busy or that I want to spend all my time in the kitchen. Luckily, I don't have to meal plan or prep, and I can still eat well now that I leave my meals to factor. 
Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never-frozen, prepared meals that are so delicious you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef-crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep, not to mention cleanup, no dishes to wash. Come on. <laughs> you you hate washing dishes, Matt. I know you do. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I hate it as well. So, you know, that's that's honestly the biggest thing for me. And with more than 29 meal options each week, I'm never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan and vegetarian meals, keto meals, low-calorie options, cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me fueled and focused all day. If this sounds good to you, head to go.factor75.com slash super120 and use code super120 to get $120 off. Remember, that's code SUPER120 at go.factor75.com slash SUPER120 for $120 off. Mm, 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 mm. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, and I'm not talking about that sticky sweet stuff, although this stuff is pretty sweet. I online shop every single week. Ryan online shops every single week. You probably online shop all the freaking time, but you know, how often do you feel like you have a promo code ready to go with checkout? Probably very rarely, but thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands, and even food delivery. I like using it for food delivery the most because I I like to order out a lot. My fridge has been broken lately, so so ordering out has kind of been a necessity. And let me tell you something. Uh, Honey comes in clutch, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you can save 16 bucks on this order. Bazinga! And here's how it can work for you. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it could find for that site, and if it finds working coupons, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over 2 billion dollars in savings. That's a lot of cheddar that could be in your pocket. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on free money. It's literally free and installs in just a few clicks, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Go on about Mr. Bean now that we're back from the ads. <laughs> the the Mr. Bean's holiday holds up. Good ads. Good ads indeed. Dude, he <gasps> Mr. Bean uh Mr. Bean's Holiday fucking holds up. I've never seen the original Mr. Bean movie, but Mr. Bean's Holiday, I decided to watch it recently. Great, great movie still. I was like, is it actually is the one stupid? where he goes on top of a car at some point? Or there's a car chase sequence? No, I think it's the first one. This is the one where he he wins a trip to to France. And he, he meets a little boy who got, uh, Wait. no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Mr. Bean gets set up <laughs> in a sting. Mr. Bean. <laughs> uh-huh. Mr. Bean shows up the Chris Hansen sting. <laughs> but it's like completely like by accident. Tie, and he's like, hmm. like, like he, he really had no idea what he was getting oh. into. He just thought he was going to hang out. He's oh. like coming in smiling, <laughs> like holding a pizza. It's like, <laughs> oh. see, so like drops now, the pizza. Now please sit down. <laughs> Mr. Bean. Why don't you have a seat right over there? He walks in, he bonks his head on like a hanging frying pan. Like, oh! Now, I know this is definitely not what you meant by cheese pizza in the chat logs. (laughs) Pulls out his handkerchief and like... (laughs) (laughs) Now, what exactly are we planning on doing here today? (laughs) (laughs) Fucking like gets up, slips on a banana peel. He does the whole like, he like goes to the couch and like pretends to walk down some stairs. (laughs) And then, like, there's actually a pair of stairs, and he rolls down, like, oh! Why don't you get back up here? Tell me what you're planning on doing here today. <laughs> and, like, as he's, like, going back to sit well, down. Mr. Bean's he, innocent. He sits down on the stool, and it, like, breaks into a million pieces, and he falls, <laughs> and, like, like hits his head on the couch. And then he Boom. goes, Phew. and he tries to, like, clash the legs together to try to make the stool, like, <laughs> then he throws him down. Pulls out a little. Except it bounces off the floor and hits Chris Hansen in the oh. head. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yep. He's like, oh, oh, putting his hands out like, oh, I'm so sorry. Dude, Mr. Bean's fucking great, dude. Oh, there, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? Mr. Bean's just a great example of a stupid Brit. You know? A stupid. A classic Brit. Stupid fucking dumbass British person. Your typical Brit. <laughs> dude, uh, I saw a fantastic article uh, by Clickhole recently. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me read an extra to this real quick. This this is like this click article that fucking killed me recently. 
because they're they're more hit or miss lately. But this one was the L's keep coming for Ye. Mr. Bean just texted Kanye a video of himself having goofy sex with Kim Kardashian. <laughs> The fallout of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's divorce has been a spectacle with no shortage of public drama, bitter press statements, and new love interests complicating the situation even further. Unfortunately for Ye, he's just taken the biggest L of the entire ordeal. Mr. Bean just texted Kanye a video of himself having goofy sex with Kim Kardashian. Yikes. <laughs> Poor Kanye. Earlier today, Kanye was busy in the studio with Travis Scott and Future when he suddenly received a video message from Mr. Bean without any context or accompanying texts. After pressing play, Kanye's face contorted with outrage and confusion as he watched the footage of a scrawny nude white man with a turkey on his head motorboating his ex-wife. Only after Kim... Uh, Safari just crashed. Well, should be using Safari. Really, really, it was, was a that, breach. It was Chrome. I meant, I meant to say Brom. It was, it was Chrome. Brom. Safari's bad, I think. Right? Something like that. It's just lame, dude. Okay, dude. Here. According to sources in the studio who saw the footage, Mr. Bean looked directly in the camera with a grin, his fingertips excitedly wiggling, then raced over to begin several failed attempts at freeing Kim. Oh, she got slammed up in like a bed that was like folds out of the wall. And he's trying to get her out. Slams her back no fewer than six times. <laughs> Around the 11 minute mark of the footage, Bean... <laughs> Here, last thing I'll read. Producers did their best to calm Kanye, who allegedly began storming around the booth and shouting about how Bean was a fake friend. His <laughs> eyes glued on the video as it reached a part in which Mr. Bean became flustered putting on a condom and ended up with his whole leg stuck inside it. Kanye was said to have held out hope that Bean's ineptitude was the con with the contraceptive meant Kim and Bean's silly intercourse wouldn't go any further, but that hope was short-lived. Around the 11-minute mark of the footage, Bean got the condom on by having Kim hold it open as he dove onto it from atop several precariously stacked chairs next to the bed, bonking his head on the ceiling like a fixture and electrocuting himself in the process. <laughs> oh, man. I fucking love uh, Clickhole uh, and Mr. Bean. Oh, Mr. Bean's great. <laughs> Last thing. I'm sorry. This is good. The hip-hop artist's friends say his hard hit rock bottom only when a baffled, nervous Bean treated penetration like he was dipping his toe in a swimming pool he was afraid to dive into. His facial expressions morphing from fear to curiosity, to pleasant surprise, to foolishly over-the-top pleasure once he finally got the hang of it. I can picture all of this on Mr. Bean's face. Thankfully for Kanye, the video ended soon after that as Mr. Bean and Kim both finished at the same time, Bean's face drooping in horror as Kim moaned and writhed in ecstasy, under the impression he'd done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's never gonna make another Mr. Bean thing, I think. <clears throat> Why? I would be down to, to, to help, uh, to, to help, like, crowdsource and direct a new Mr. Bean. Oh, what about uh, what they did with Ace Ventura? They put out a little mini Bean. They, kill off, they killed off Ace Ventura. What? And replaced him with his son. You can't have you can't have Son of the Bean. You can't have a little bean that well, doesn't work. They couldn't do Son of Ventura. That that's not a good movie. Yeah, but why why do studios ever think that's gonna work? Like, yeah, this is actually this is good money. Yeah, they're not they're not looking to make a good movie. He has the weird hair like Ace Ventura. I remember he says that dude. The things like Ace Ventura. Smoking, smoking. I've never seen Ace Ventura. Well, one of the uh, major plot lines of one of them has to do with. Uh, the huge, it's very transphobic. Really? Because the big surprise at the end is like, oh, this hot woman that we've all been ogling after, she has a penis! Ugh. And then, and then, and then when Bean's it's revealed there. she has a penis, all the cops and everyone in the vicinity goes, oh! and they start throwing up. <laughs> Dude, when it's we an actual <laughs> scene. It's an actual scene. <laughs> Of Jim Carrey unveiling a woman's penis and everyone <laughs> and, and, and and everyone throwing up. <laughs> we need to uh, in in our first debut movie have a scene where like we see a hot girl at a bar and it's like like you like slick your hair back and go over and tap her on the shoulder. Turns around, it's just like like a guy with long hair with a beard. And you're like, I, like, oh, and I, like oh! throw up. like I throw up on him, then he steps up face. and like. He, a bunch of his biker friends get up behind him like, oh, oh, let's get out of no, here, let's Ryan. save it for the next book. Yeah, okay, that'll be the next book. <laughs> Start with just like a transphobic scene. <laughs> the Bechdel test. The, mm. Never mind. Don't yeah. worry about it. Uh, yeah, man, but uh, in other news, I recently got to meet uh, the Austin Powers impersonator. I saw that. Unbelievable, was, unbelievable. He never dropped character, right? Never once. Not even when you're like, hey, you tried to get him to kind of loosen up a bit, I'm guessing. I didn't, yeah, I tried to get him to loosen up. I didn't want to like <laughs> try to get him to drop character because I, I, I was like, maybe he just really doesn't want to and it'll be uncomfortable if I try to get him to do it. So I was like, hey, you know, you like doing this? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay, good. He acknowledged like that he was, like he, he kept himself on as Austin the whole time, but also would like 
openly talk about the movies. So like he acknowledged that he. Oh, won. in that movie, it was it was awesome, baby. I asked him to rank them. I think he said one, three, two, maybe one, three, two, or maybe two, one, three. Surprise, three. No, 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 no. I think three would probably be the last. I'm I think guessing. it was one, three, two. One, three, two. Okay. It wasn't one, two, three, but he said one was definitely first, so it'd be one, Solid three, two. Go. He did a cover of Daddy. What he did? He sang all the songs Daddy on stage. Wasn't there. It was at a uh, Brandon Wardell and Jack Wagner's uh, live podcast. Change my under. It was amazing. Daddy wasn't dude. there. Peace. Standing, standing side stage and watching that man with a smile on his face, fucking sing it. No, oh, dashing baby. <sighs> They're not gonna make another Austin Powers, are they? It's too old. It's too done for that. Mike Myers is spent, right? Dude, I feel like 2022 is. That's exactly what we need right now. Another Austin Powers. Hey. Jackass helped save 2021. Well, sorry, it came out this year and it didn't really save 2022 because 2022 thus far has been a fucking awful year. Well, I don't like this year so far. Yeah, so far this year actually has kind of sucked. Not for me personally. Yeah, for me personally I, as well, it sucked. It's been <laughs> awful. And, uh, but also, uh, you know, for, for Ukraine, it's not, it's not a good year for mm. them as well. Well, more importantly, it's been a bad year for me. Yeah. True. And uh, it's just not really been fun. Ukraine. Oh no, Russia. Yeah. You know, we, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. You ever read uh, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, Ukraine? Yeah. And, you know, they can't join NATO, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, uh, they shouldn't because NATO is gay. More like Gato. Well, they would have some protection if they did. They want to join NATO. Huh? They want to join NATO. They can't because there's land disputes, though. Also, they'll like. Could they, could they just like give Russia like. Could they give Russia, like, whatever, like, a little slice of it and be like, okay, now these are our borders. NATO! NATO! Let us in! Before they realize! No, I feel like if it was that easy, that that would already happen. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, Russia already just just takes without, at, like, Crimea. Mm -hmm. they, they were 2014, they were like, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, I mean. It's ours now. Oh, look at this. Uh, 31 minutes ago, news, news alert. Putin orders Russian forces into separatist regions in Ukraine for peacekeeping processes. Okay. <laughs> peacekeep. Uh, oh, the peacekeepers? Yeah, I'm sending my troops in for peacekeeping. Weren't the peacekeepers from the Hunger Games? <laughs> Probably. I, God, I need to rewatch those movies. I like those movies. I feel like the peacekeepers. Were they the security guards or were they like the oh. people up top? Three hours ago, Putin to recognize two breakaway regions of Ukraine as independent republics, giving Moscow a possible pretext to invade. Oh. Yeah. I've seen Hassan on Twitter like, if you think that Russia's going to invade Ukraine, you're a fucking dumbass. He thinks it's just a warmongering, chest banging of the politicians. <laughs> There's this meme. Uh, it's from Family Guy. And it's like what it was on Reddit. It's like what Putin's doing to the world right now. And it's like he'll take out like what looks like to be a gun at first and then it's just like a coat hanger that he puts a coat up <laughs> then he'll like pull, pull out an AK-47 and they'll go <gasps> and then he'll then he just points it up and it's just a little lighter that goes <laughs> <laughs> I saw one where it was like it was a meme where it was like it was uh it was like the the US media talking about like Russia invading Ukraine and it was just like a gif of like a truck about to slam into a wall from all these different angles but it never hits it just keeps like <laughs> like different angles of it getting closer but it never actually hits I, maybe it might actually happen this time because I mean that's been going on forever like back before we even started streaming like, I remember seeing like all that shit about Ukraine being invaded by Russia Russia wants Ukraine so much World War Three talk though if you go look on Reddit comments and shit, oh I mean like, this stuff happens all the time never, it's like you know it's I didn't know I'd be alive you know we're repeating the 20s just like every time there's a geopolitical like uh like not debate what, they said the, the same shit with North Korea where it's like is this the start of World War Three because yeah this stuff could lead into something like that but it's like I think I, I would like to say that most superpowers are set up are to the smart point. enough like to not do that like they know like uh, maybe we shouldn't do th go this far they, or maybe not I don't know I think it's like they're the superpowers like their shit is claimed and then they, all they can really do is uh, kick, kick limping dogs at this point and that's what Russia is doing with Ukraine right and that's what that's what the United States does with whatever Whatever fucking country it decides to 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 fuck over every all in, all three under of the, the guise of protection. Although so, it's weird, I don't want to say. It. I don't know. It's so complicated. Uh, maybe maybe it's just best that we. Should. Every superpower fucking goes into other countries and under the guise of something else. And right now, China's doing it in Africa real bad. I'm so sorry for for the the arms trade. 
I, the illegal arms trade. I apologize. I lied to the American people. Whoopsie. My favorite president. <laughs> favorite president. <laughs> Put them on a coin. <laughs> yeah, baby. Dude, why'd they stop putting people on coins, man? Why'd they just stop? Wasn't there a new $100 bill? Or is it a new $20 bill? Harriet Tubman. It's not out yet, though. When is that coming I out? I saw the Trump administration was like trying to block that, that. I feel like the Harriet Tubman bill's been in the works since it has I was been. like in middle school. They talked, they like decided, and they're like, all right, in 2026, we'll put it into. I really feel like since I was in school, like this shit's been going. I love on. that the like, there have been like rumors of like them changing the bills. The Trump admin tried to block that really hard, and I'm like, <laughs> like, okay. like what other like reasoning would you have for like stop? Don't put that black woman on the dollar. Matthew, I'm hungry, and our food just got here. I'm really hungry. Well, let me just get the truth about this Harriet Tubman twenty. I'm Biden starving. to speed up effort to put Harry and Tub Harriet Harriet Tubman on the twenty dollar bill. We ought to be able to design a $20 bill in less than 20 years. Less than 20 years. They resumed last it's year. It's hard work. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why, it's, why, it's, why it takes so long. But they, they, they're not putting people on coins anymore. I honestly thought for sure Trump would end up on a, a piece of money. No way. I thought that he would try to get it done himself. Because oh. <laughs> that just sounds like very fitting. Like Pat trying to do something like put me on the penny or something. Put me on, put the, me on the million dollar bill. They didn't put Obama well, on money. I thought Obama would have ended up on money. He's in some legal trouble right now, so he's got to worry Donaldo? about that. Huh? Donaldo? Yeah. When is he not? You know oh, what I'm come saying? Come on, hey. He is, though. He's got to, he's got, him and his kids have to give depositions. Oops. This month. Uh-oh. Never had to do that before. Huh? Oh, wow. Dude, I hope it's like Bieber's deposition. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, uh, we have some fun. Uh, what a goofy, fun time. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great week. Uh, we'll try to give some more updates soon on uh, why this year sucks so far. And uh, we love you all so much. Uh, go check out our Patreon. You know, sorry for lack of posts this month. It's been, it's been, it's been. A, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we will a update lot. you on soon. And it's not fun. Uh, but we're okay. We're fine. Uh, Ryan and I. Uh, just divorce is tough. Yeah, you know, that's all we'll say. But uh, yeah, we got we do have some really cool stuff coming out. Though. I, it, it's the same thing every time we say. But yeah, there is that's why it's better coming. probably yeah. just. All right, to put we're it just out. gonna go. We love you guys. <laughs> uh, why don't you guys uh, have a great great day, great week, and we'll see you next week for two. Suck on my ball. Nice dude. Got him. Hey man, fist pound. Bye, Bro fist. Bye.